Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah, and in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to pet grooming TikToks. Okay guys, so if you are new, my name is Savannah. I am a professional mobile pet groomer. I own my own business and also did my own DIY van conversion. I will leave a link to the playlist somewhere above. This is my daughter, Everly. She sometimes joins me in my videos if she doesn't wanna go down for a nap or she's just gonna be happiest on me. And honestly, you guys don't really seem to mind when she's here. Today, I took some screen recordings of some dog grooming TikTok videos. We are going to watch them together and I am going to be reacting to them. Please ignore all the mess in the background. I'm gonna end up doing a split screen right here. So hopefully my tie-dye station that you can see over there kind of gets covered up because I know it's a little bit of an eyesore. But let's just jump right into this video, reacting to pet grooming TikToks. So getting my phone here, I'm also going to be putting in some earbuds so there isn't like a double sound thing. I will also mention that I'm gonna keep in everybody's username so that they can get credit for the awesome videos that I'm going to be watching. There's some really good dog grooming videos out there on TikTok. A huge time sucker, that's for sure. Let's get started. So we're gonna start with dog grooming life and then I'm just gonna click on anything that looks interesting to me. So I'm clicking this palm video, looks a little evil. Oh gosh. Look how good that dog looks though. Okay. So as you can see, this palm is quite evil. I probably will keep the sound in because there's no like copyright music in it. But the one thing I will say that I don't really like about this video is that they use a swear word and I feel like that just doesn't look good on groomers or maybe the business, etc. But whatever, they're prerogative. But like huge props for getting a muzzle on that dog. A, you can see that there's two people trying to get a muzzle on. And B, the groom looks awesome for the dog being psycho like that. You can see she's like brushing the dog from further away because it's like going nuts. So whoever that is, good job. <laughs> okay, next one, I am going to preface this by saying that there is poop in this video. So if that grosses you out, then just skip ahead to the next, the next clip. Okay. This is just reality of dog grooming. Ugh. I like how she shows its butt too. Ugh, it's all over her hand. Definitely been there, done that. That dog probably needs to be rewashed after that. Looks like a bigger dog that got like complete shave down. But yeah, realities of dog grooming. You're gonna get poop on you at some point. Kind of like having a baby. Okay, so the next one's gonna be another gross one. It involves fleas, just to show like how bad fleas can get and what it looks like on a dog. So let's check it out. Ugh. Look at them crawling around, this poor pup. So yeah, just a super quick video about fleas. You can see them crawling around. Um, one of the big differences between fleas and lice is that fleas will actually like live in your carpet. But lice, once they fall off the dog, first of all, they can only live on the dog, like dog lice. And second of all, once they fall, so then if they fall off the dog, they're not going to live in your carpet. It's just going to die. And then it can't also get passed on to you. Now where I live in Canada, I'm in Saskatchewan where it's quite cold. We don't have nearly as bad of a flea problem than in the States just because of our climate, but we do see fleas sometimes. It can be very hard to get rid of them if you're not on top of it. And it's also very uncomfortable for the dogs. I could go on and on about this, but no fun and so gross. Ah, yes, a cat video. Look how cool that cat looks. So cool. It's got like the purple tail and then I'm gonna watch it again. And then the spikes, like I don't groom cats. So props to people that do. It can be very difficult. Definitely a whole other different ball game than grooming dogs. 
You can make a lot of money grooming cats, and especially if you get good. You can do a cat, I hear, in like an hour or like under an hour, and you can charge big bucks for it. $90, $100, sometimes even more. What a beautiful cat groom, though. Okay, moving on to the next one. Ah, little plug here. Wish I could keep the music in. Okay, so if you don't know, that is my company, Pause and Relax Mobile Pet Grooming. I just made a TikTok account. I am striving to put up at least one TikTok a week, kind of like YouTube. So go follow me on TikTok, a little bit of a plug there. But this just shows the outside of my van and then the inside of our DIY conversion. The one thing that I do want to say, since you can see the outside of my van in that, is that I wish I would have done my decals a little bit differently. Before I launched the business a year ago in November, it, the decals was the very last thing that I did. And I kind of rushed to get them done, sent them a quick idea, and I wish I would have kind of done them a little bit different, maybe a little bit more flashy, but what can you do? Live and learn. Maybe one day I'll get it redone. Okay, moving along. Another cat one. Okay, so you can see that this cat is extremely matted. It's coming off in one piece, which is scary, especially for cats because they have really thin skin. The groomer's trying to find where to get in there. As you can see, she's going very slowly. Oh, that poor kitty. But honestly, that cat's gonna feel so much better now. But yeah, uh, little myth, cats do need to be groomed. They do not groom themselves. Their saliva doesn't disinfect their fur. They actually just spread the bacteria around. Yes, they do like licking their fur and grooming themselves. But if you are not grooming your cat, that's why they get hairballs because they're getting all that loose fur and they're, di they're trying to digest it and then they puke it up. They're I could go on and on about cat grooming. Maybe I'll make a separate video about that. <laughs> what are you doing down here? But yes, cats need to be groomed. And as you can see, if you have a long haired cat, they can get matted and it's very painful for them, just like dogs. What are we doing? Are we enjoying this or what? You're being so good, girl. See what else we got? Oh gosh, yes, this one. Look how freaking big those dogs are. Like, that almost doesn't even look real to me. Some sort of like doodle or poodle cross because they're asking for a teddy bear cut. But uh, yeah, classic, I guess, let this TikTok teach you a lesson that when people are calling you and asking for quotes over the phone to ask lots of questions or just give them a general price range and say you can't give a real quote until you see the dog because these dogs would not be $40 each. I can guarantee you that. And in my mobile, I probably wouldn't even take them on as clients because those look like, I don't know if I could do them both in the same day or if I would even want to. Um... Yeah, go check out my video about pricing your worth as a pet groomer and also why you shouldn't say yes to every single client that inquires and you'll get a little bit more information about that. That's crazy though, those dogs are freaking huge. I've never seen a doodle that big before. Okay, so now we're searching mobile grooming and I always see these online so I had to click on this video and it's so cool inside. Now, from what I hear, this is like a franchise, so you buy into this, but I was always told that these um, vans, let me replay it again, I wanna watch it again. That these vans were only for bathing dogs, like only bath dog services, but it says mobile grooming. <laughs> but there is a table in there and stuff, and there's lights and stuff, so you should be able to, um, Plug in clippers so that you can do a full haircut. What's wrong, girl? You want Suzu? But if any of you guys have one of these little blue dog vans, please let me know how it works down below. And if you do haircuts, I would be very, very interested. But as far as I know, it's like a franchise. I saw somebody in the comments of this video saying that they thought that was the ugliest thing they'd ever seen. But I think it's like pretty cool gives me like um, Dumb and Dumber vibes. 
Okay, so this next one's a husky groom. I always like including these because people are always like so shocked at how much fur comes off of a husky, especially if you're a non-groomer watching my videos. Um, in the van, it literally is like a snow globe. As you can see, this girl's just doing, uh, she's using the high velocity dryer. So these dryers blow hard and fast and good thing she's wearing a mask. Otherwise you're eating fur the entire time. Look at her face. Yeah, that's how I feel. But yeah, in the van, it's like a little, literal freaking snow globe. And there is fur on every inch of the van once I'm done these dogs. I have seen a hack, which I haven't tried, but maybe I will try when I go back to work, is that you get like one of those mosquito nettings or those like canopies that go over kids' beds and you put it around your tub and then the dog is in the tub and then you do the blow drying so that all of that fur gets trapped in the tub because the mosquito netting keeps it from like blowing everywhere. But then I've seen some people say that like you shouldn't be trapping the dog in that. So I don't know, maybe I'll give it a try and we'll see how well it works. Okay, moving along because I know I've got a few more saved. Okay, so this next one is now a matted dog. We had a look at a matted cat. Um, I can feel a little rumbly in your pants. Taking a little poop. Okay, so yeah, this next one's a matted dog. I always like including these. It is no fun for the dog or for us either. I know, it's no fun, eh? It's no fun at all. Okay. So, cute little dog under there. We know that. It says matted all over because of the pandemic. I mean, hopefully that is true. Lots of shops were closed for a while. Look at that, all one piece. Holy, do you guys hear that? She's just pooping away. I want to know how this girl ties up the towels in the bath like that. Look how cute! Okay, I love that she kept a little bit on the face and the ears. Um, since she was able to, I'm very confident that this groomer wouldn't have left that much if she wasn't able to, like if it wasn't, um, if it was super matted. I want to know how she ties up the towels over the dogs in the tub because I watched a few of this groomer's other videos. This Maya, Maya B the groomer. I don't know if that's how you say her username, but she does that for like all of her dogs in the tub and it looks super cool. So maybe I'll look into that. But yeah, she makes great content if you want to go follow her on TikTok for dog grooming videos. But yeah, this dog for sure feels a lot better now and that short haircut's gonna last it a while now as well. Holy girl, you're gonna blow out your pants soon. <laughs> okay, let's see if we have any more saved here. Okay, so this one, I don't think I can put the sound in because it'll be copyright. So I'll just like describe it. It's like this cute little innocent dog and then she puts the dryer on it and the audio is like, I'm gonna kill you or like something like that. But it just shows you how like these little angel looking dogs aren't always good for every part of the grooming process. And also dogs like attacking the dryer while you try to dry them is actually very common. Am I gonna have to stop the video and go change it quick? We might have to do that, but let's watch this video quick first. Sweet and innocent, so cute. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's watch it one more time. Like what a cute little finished groom and then just a psycho for the dryer. I mean, yeah. That thing speaks for itself. Okay, so this is, she's still pooping, man. This is gonna be like the most amount of poop in a diaper ever. Okay, so this next one is a home groom on a Samoid. And first of all, huge props to this lady doing it at home. But yeah, we just get to watch the fur pile up, man. These dogs have so much fur. Like, look at this. Also, it looks like she's using a metal comb, which props to that. I always tell people to use a metal comb. The plastic combs can bend and the teeth can break. But look at all this fur. She's also moving in sections, which is what she should be doing. Like, holy 
Wrap, Zilla, that's a lot of fur. That's a lot of fur. Props on this lady for doing this at home because if all of that undercoat would, would have stayed in that dog, it would have matted and been a huge mess for a groomer and then potentially have to shave a dog that's not meant to be shaved. Let's see if we can get in like a couple more. Okay, this is a quick one, super cute. Just a little like a bum shot trim. That's just honestly adorable. This looks like it could be like on a Samoyed or something too in a grooming salon. So look at that round butt and the little bow. Love that. This has got to be a Samoyed or a Pyrenees, probably a Samoyed. So cute. So this next one is a lab groom. And I just want to show how it is important to groom those short haired dogs because as you can see from this video, you get off a ton of fur. Also, I want one of these little comb things. I'm gonna look into this Artero rake thing. Look at all that fur that came off this black lab. So yeah, your short haired dogs need some loving too, especially if they're shedding all over your house. I totally want to look into that like rake thing. So this next video, I think I'm gonna keep the audio in and I feel like she just perfectly talks about this matted dog and like what's What's wrong with letting your dogs getting mad at etc. So let's just watch this together. Here's another friendly reminder to brush your damn dog. This dog is 14 years old. This is not the first time it's come in looking like this. It is in pain. It hurts to shave this out. They don't like it. They don't deserve it. They can get bruising from this. Brush your damn dog. This stuff is still attached. As you can see, the matting came off in all one piece. Also, uh, you can't see the dog's face, but the fur looks really like soft and fluffy. So I'm going to guess it's a Maltese. They are notorious for um, getting tangles and then matting. But then also those dogs have very thin skin. So you have to go really slow when you're shaving um, and you may accidentally nick them. Also, considering that dog is 14, its skin is probably even more thin. So that was probably a very stressful groom for that groomer, just slowly trying to get through that matting. Oh no. Okay, what do you think? Go change a diaper, and then we come back, come right back, and we'll view one more video that might be kind of controversial, but we want to talk about it. Okay, be right back, guys. Oh, I'm attached. Okay guys, we back. Actually, wasn't as much poop as I thought there'd be, just a lot of farting, I guess. But hopefully she will stay happy until we are done this last video. Okay, so could be kind of controversial, but we're gonna talk about it in the end. I'm also gonna leave in the audio. She makes awesome TikToks, so go check her out. Let's see what her name is. Let's shut her out here. Oh, her name is That One Groomer. Okay, and this is about uh, doodle doodles. The caption also says, we can only work with what we're given, but honestly, this could be about other breeds other than just a doodle as well. So let's watch this together. Hi, this is my six month old doodle puppy, Joseph. He's here for his first haircut. The one who left as long and fluffy as possible. Sure can keep him fluffy a day. Just be sure to bring him back in the next two to four weeks so that we can get him used to the grooming process as well as make sure he's brushed and combed. Okay, so pay attention to that. Two to four weeks might seem like super often to bring in your dog and kind of ridiculous, but let's just keep watching. Hey, Joseph is here for his next haircut. We want him left as long and fluffy as possible. Just like the first time, he did a great job. I'm so sorry. I can see from here that Joseph is very matted. My only option is going to be to shave him down today. Oh no. Well, what happened? How do I keep his hair? Well, if you don't want to maintain his coat yourself, you can absolutely bring him to us to do it for you, but he has to be in every two to four weeks. <laughs> well, that's ridiculous. That's Aren't you board. greedy? You're right. That's a lot of time and money. I'm more than happy to give you a free demonstration on maintaining the coat at home. Um, isn't that what I'm paying you for is to maintain my doodle? To maintain, he's got to be in every two to four weeks. Look at what the groomer did to my dog. She shaved him naked. There was no need for this. I brush him once a week. Why are all groomers lazy and stupid and greedy? Okay, so Hi, this is at my the end where she, the client is commenting on a form. Uh, definitely seen those comments before. 
in groups. People don't understand why their dog is shaved. Honestly, the groomer needs to educate people, but the groomer in this video did an awesome job of that. Educating, explaining why uh, her dog's matted. Doodles have very high maintenance coats. You are combining a shedding coat with a non-shedding coat, and as it grows out, it is a mess. It is a mess. So they're very high maintenance for grooming and lots of breeders do not disclose that. So know what you're getting into. If you want your doodle to be long and fluffy like all the pictures online, you gotta either do the work online or they're gonna have to be at a groomer lots and you're gonna be spending sometimes big bucks on that. So only a little controversial, I think, because people get so passionate about like grooming and like grooming doodles and all that jazz, but yeah. So those are all of the pet grooming TikToks I have for you guys today. I am planning on making a part three because I really enjoy watching these TikToks. So if you have some of your own dog grooming TikToks, please leave your username down below as I would love to check them out. Also, like I said, I just made a TikTok account for Pause and Relax, so feel free to go check that out. Also, if you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below as I upload at least once a week. And usually these days, Evie is joining me. And we both would love to have you part of our YouTube family. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. And we will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next week.